Okay, so we're going to get started with the guided practice, which is on page 150. Um, before I get into the notes, I want to go over the answers. So if you already did it, and you want to see how you did, there it is. You had to do 1, 2, 3, and 4. The answer for number 1 is 19 and 2 tenths. Number 2 is 1 and 21 hundredths. The answer for number 3 is 11. And the answer for number 4 is $10.50. Now, if you have a different answer and you feel your answer is correct, uh, tomorrow during the Zoom meeting, by all means, bring it up and we'll go over it. Okay, so I guess we can get started. All right, for number one, you have to find the percent of each number. So the first thing you should do is copy the problem correctly. It says find 32% of 60. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I've been doing fractions, percentages as a fraction. I'm going to try it as a decimal this time. All right, so 32%, I'm going to rewrite it with a decimal point instead and take out the percentage symbol, right? Decimal point, move that to the right. Start to the left, two spots, one, two. So now I have 0 0.32 of 60 and of, as you know, means multiply. All right, so you're just going to go ahead and do the math. 60 times 0 0.32. Okay. 0 and 32 hundredths has three digits, but I really don't count the zero, so I think of it as two digits. Two digits, doesn't matter which one I put on top or bottom, it's going to be the same. But that's just my way. You can do it differently, obviously. When you multiply, the order doesn't matter. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. Again, digit by digit. Place value by place value. All right, 3 times 0. 3 times 6, 18. Place value holder. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 8 is 9. And then we have 9. Sorry, 1. Okay. So 1,920, but that's not it. We did multiply by decimal number, so we have to take care of the decimal place values right here. I have two place values, one, two. The answer is 19.20, but you don't need the last zero, so really it's 19 and two tenths, okay? It really can be that simple, guys. You just need to know how to multiply. And of course, you need to know your times tables. Um, if you still haven't memorized them, by all means, please take this summer to memorize them. You don't want to start seventh grade without knowing your times tables, okay? It just makes life easier if you do know them. All right, we're up to number two. Same thing. Make sure you copy the problem correctly. 0.55% of 220. Okay. Please, let me remind you. This is a percentage. It's not a decimal number. It's still per hundred. So it's 55 hundredths per hundred, okay? This isn't a decimal number, just because it's, I mean, sorry. Yeah, it's not a decimal number. Just because it, it has a decimal point doesn't mean it's a decimal number, okay? Okay, I just realized what I just said. Please, when you convert this to a decimal number, move that decimal point to the left. Don't just leave it where it's, where it's at. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, so this is less than 1%. Remember, less than any? So if I think of it this way, look, that's about half. Half of 220 it's gonna be about 110, possibly, right? It's not gonna be 220, right? So let's consider this. Again, less than one. Just do the math. I'm gonna change this to a decimal number. Take away that percentage symbol. Move decimal point two spaces to the left. So now I have 0 0.0055 of 220, which means you're going to multiply. Oh boy, okay, now, why am I saying that? I have one, two, three, four, five digits here, three digits there. Now, I could put this on top, right, and this on the bottom when I multiply, but like I said, I don't like to count the zeros because zero times anything is going to be zero anyways, so I'm really just counting the non-zero digits. So that's just two digits. So I'll put 220 on top and the rest on the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write it very carefully because I have to line up the digits. 5, 5, 0, 0, 0. I'm trying to keep it as neat as possible. Again, it's not a race. Take your time and do this right. Okay, 5 times 0, 0. 5 times 2, 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. All right, so far so good. Place value holder, I'm done with this place value. Next one, it'll be the same thing, so 0, 0, 1, 1. 
I'm not going to bother multiplying by zeros because I'm just going to have a bunch of zeros down here. It'll just get confusing. Okay, so let's just have what we have. Let's do it with what we have. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus zero. One plus zero is one. Again, consider the last count the place values. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, look at that. The answer is 1.21. Okay. Now, look, before we move on, I just want you to think about what we just did. Okay. 1.21. Think about it this way. This is less than 1%. If this was 1%, it'd be one penny for every 100, right? One penny for every 100. We have about 200. Well, that's again rounding. So we'd have about two pennies, right? But this isn't a penny, it's, not even, it's less than that. So we're gonna have less than a penny. So our answer is gonna be less than two. Check it out, it is less than two. Just wanted to show you, you can always check your answer at the end just to verify that you're doing it right. Okay, number three, 275% of four. Okay, this is more than 100% more than 100%, so that means our answer is going to be more than this. Because again, we want 225% of this, of 4. So if this was 100%, we'd have 4, but this is almost 300%, that would be 3 of these. And the answer is going to be a little less than 12, I think. Okay, so let's figure this out. Okay, so again, let me just visualize it for you so you can see what's going on. Here we have 100%. Another 100%. Uh, it's not to scale, but you get the idea. And then 75%, which is about three-fourths. Well, it is not about, it is three-fourths. Okay, so let's think about this. This would be four, this would be four. And if this whole thing is four, but I only want three of them, right, because each point is one, I only want three of them, this is three. I think, I'm pretty sure the answer is going to be 11. Okay, so let's think about this. What did I just do? 275%. That's the same as 100% plus 100% plus 75%. 100% is 4, because of 4, right? 100% of 4, so it's another 4, plus 75%. Now, 75%, you should know by now, is 3 fourths. So it's 3 parts out of 4. I shaded in 3 parts out of 4. And if I have 4, and each part has to be divided, is divided equally, so each part is equal to each other. One plus one plus one plus one. You can see it's three. Okay, now let's do the math. You can see what's going on. All right, I'm going to use the other page. All right. Can you see it? No, you cannot. Okay. I took away the percentage symbol. Put the decimal point. Move two spaces to the left. One, two. Two point seven five times four. We're gonna have to do the math here, people. This has three digits, it's only one. Four times five is 20, carry the two. Four times seven is 28, plus two is 30. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11. I have two place values to consider. One, two, because there's my decimal point. One, two, one, two, and the answer is 11. Okay, last one, number four. It's a word problem, oh boy. What does it say? All right, Troy wants to buy a jersey of his favorite Major League Soccer team, MLS. The jersey is 30% off the original price. If the original price of the jersey is $35, what is the amount Troy will save? All right, again, as usual, when we talk about word problems, I like to make a story out of it if I can. All right, so we're talking about a shirt, which is what a jersey is. It's one of those sport, it's a sports shirt, think of it this way. I'm sure you've seen people wear jerseys. Okay, I'm drawing it like a shirt because that's what it looks like, that's what I think of. Baseball jersey, actually, but yeah, it's okay. All right, the jersey. Again, jersey. And we're talking about some guy. I'm assuming it's a guy. A guy named Troy. He's buying this shirt. All right, so he wants to buy a shirt that's on sale. Okay, so. All right. Usually I just draw one bar. I'm going to draw two bars just so you can see something. Okay. 
100 percent you don't want to draw something outside because i don't like how that's crunchy that just looks a little dirty 100 percent that's full price and at full price it is 35 dollars if i got this right okay all right it says we're gonna take 30 percent off the price just gone we're gonna take this off we're gonna pay for this much we're only gonna pay for 70 percent okay so the question then is well i just realized we're percent twice the question is how much are we saving it's not asking how much the price of the shirt is it's asking how much are we saving so this is what we're going to pay this is what we're going to save so the question is how much are we saving right yes i really just put the answer there but that's okay you know i'll just leave it there how did we get that okay how did we get that answer well here's the here's the deal okay i'm gonna race anyways it just uh, it bothers me a little bit we want to know what 30 percent of 35 is how much what's 30 percent of that okay so 30 percent of 35 all right i'm just gonna go ahead and change it to a decimal point rewrite it with a decimal point sorry i misspoke i'm gonna change this to a decimal number i don't know why i said decimal point all right 0 0.30 times times 35 let's do the math And you know what? If, if you wonder what I just did, I can change 30 hundredths into 3 tenths. They're equivalent. They're equivalent fractions. Just to show you in case you forgot, 3 tenths is the same as 30 hundredths. They're equivalent. Well, not the same, but they're equivalent. You can scale up. Remember, if in case you forgot, back to the, to the math. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. I have one place value. So I'm one place value there. The answer is 10.5, but we're talking about money. So we got to change the tenths to 100, add a zero, it's hundreds. So we save 1050. Look at that, it's back. Okay. Anyways, and there's your answer. That's guided practice for you. Again, if you didn't get it the first time and you kind of make it kind of makes sense now, please by all means do it again. Okay. But try it on your own without looking at the answers.